Good morning, sixth grade, and welcome to another week of online instruction. Um, just uh, so you guys know, uh, this week's topic is going to be very similar to the topic that we talked about last week. Last week, we were talking about heat transfer, methods of heat transfer, including conduction, convection, and radiation. Uh, for conduction, convection, and radiation, really all of them are just forms of energy, a special kind of energy called thermal energy, which means heat energy. So this week we're going to take that and we're going to go a little bit more broad. We are going to be entering a unit on physics. So we've been doing chemistry for most of the year. Physics is just the study of our physical world around us. So that could be motion, that could be energy, that can be um, uh, light and sound. That can be a whole slew of different uh, activities that we could do. So for this week, we're going to focus on one of the most important terms for energy, and that is potential and kinetic energy. So to start off our week this week, what I'm going to have you guys do, there's just three two-minute videos, two of which are on roller coasters, and one of them is on uh, the International Space Station. It's an astronaut talking about potential and kinetic energy and how it relates to the International Space Station. After you watch these videos, you're going to take those concepts and you're going to be doing what's called an energy skate park. For Energy Skate Park, when you guys click into the activity this week, you guys will see it'll pop up with a screen that looks like this. So it looks like you can't actually write in it, but what you're going to do is you're going to click here or sometimes it will pop up over here to open in a new window. And once you open it in a new window, you want to click open with Google Docs and you'll be able to write in it just like that. And it'll usually pop up with your name on it instead. So as we go through the work for today, um, this is where we're going to really see uh, if you understand what potential and kinetic energy are and hopefully this, uh, this simulation will help you understand. So first off, when you guys open it up, it's going to open to a screen that looks like this. Uh, there's three pages for this activity. On the first page is going to be the intro slide. So you're going to click into intro. When you open it, chances are it probably will not have the bar graph open. But you're going to want to open up the bar graph so that it makes it a little bit easier for you to see what we're talking about um, for the, each of the questions. So the things that you're going to need for this first section is you're going to need to know that you can pick up the person and you can put the person on the track and you can see that they will stick right to the track if you bring it near there. Second, if you are on either of these two, you're going to want to switch to the one that is a V shape. And the third thing that you need to know is that there is this slider for mass. So notice that she is changing her size as I move this little marker. Uh, so you're going to be measuring the kinetic energy and the potential energy with the small mass, a large mass, and a medium mass, which is somewhere as close to center as you can get. Don't stress out if it's not perfect. It'll just be a little bit different. Um, all you need to do for this question is describe where you are seeing the maximum potential energy, where you're seeing the smallest or minimum potential energy, and where you're seeing the maximum kinetic energy. And for that, all you're going to see is those uh, bars is what you're looking for, where it's the tallest, where it's the smallest. For the second page, you're going to be learning a little bit about friction. So for the friction section, you're going to be on the one that looks like this again, the V-shaped one. Um, you're going to definitely want to have on at least the speedometer and the bar graph. So when you're doing this one, when, um, on top of you having the mass slider, where you can make the person smaller or larger, you're also going to have a friction slider where you can apply next to no friction or a lot of friction. So 
what we are going to do, um, you're going to answer questions as you go along, uh, describing what happens to these three things as the skater goes through the hill three times. So what that means, I'm going to take red, take these off for right now, and I'll just have it middle, middle. The person goes through. That's one, two, three. And you will describe what happened to that person as they went through those three times. You're going to talk about their position. So we started at the top. Where did they end up? You're going to talk about the kinetic energy and potential energy that they had as they went through, or not potentially kinetic, I lied. Uh, you're going to talk about the total energy that they had as they go through. And finally, you're going to talk about the speed at which they're going. Each of these little lines is one, so the large lines are two. Then, after you're done, you're going to have to answer some questions about what happened to the friction versus thermal energy, total energy, and so on. The last section that you're going to be doing is called the energy playground. And the big thing I want you guys to do in the energy playground is I want you to try and make a looping track for this skater. So to do that, all you need to do is pull this track out. You can move all of these pieces around so they are where you want them to be. And if you want the track to be longer or have more than three points, all you need to do is click up here and it'll attach a new one on for you. Person attaches to the track the same way as normal. These buttons, that one means they won't fall off the track. This one a little bit more accurately will show them fall off the track. Um, things that you're going to need for this, uh, you can use any method at which you can think of for them to get from one side of your track to the other side of your, for your track. Uh, you can change the mass that the person is, or you can change the friction at which the wheels of the skateboard connect to the track. Take your time. I want you to discuss um, what challenges you had, what your looping, uh, what your looping track looked like, and what variables you used to get a working track. After that, you can create your own design. And if you have, if you end up making your own design, I would really like to see pictures. So all you need to do is attach it to the assignment. Um, after you're done, there's just a couple summary questions that'll give a. Uh, give us some understanding of if you understood the concepts of potential and kinetic energy. So, on top of the Energy Skate Park this week, I just want to remind you guys, if you have not yet had a chance to do your solar cooking project, either the Plan It, Make It, or Market It project, it, you do not need to complete all three. You really only need to complete one of them. And if you have not yet done so, please make sure that you are getting it done. We don't want you to fall behind. And all of the skills that we are talking about in this class will be useful to you next year and the year after and for the rest of your life. Please make sure that you are remembering to journal everything that you're doing. Uh, remember the questions are, what are three things that you learned and how does this relate to your life? If you have any trouble getting on Tinkercad or on the website or editing documents, please make sure to reach out to us and we can help you get on the websites. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing your work this week.